Todd? Todd, can you hear me? You need to wake up. There you are. Jesus. Are you okay? I don't know. I don't feel okay. You don't look okay. Then why'd you ask if I was okay? I don't know. It seemed like the right thing to say. Uh. Who did this? I don't know. Did what? It's almost 8 in the morning. How long have you been out here? I have no idea. Did what? What the fuck happened to me? Looks like... You got clobbered, Todd. Oh my god. Who the hell did this? That's what I asked, remember? You really don't remember. No, I don't remember anything. Nothing at all. I remember I was walking home last night. I took a shortcut through here and that's it. That's a good start, right? Not really. God damn it! I can't believe I got mugged by some asshole. Do you really think it was just a mugging? What did they take? Uh, nothing. It's all here. Phone, wallet, keys. What kind of idiot would mug me and not take my stuff? The kind of idiot that has a real beef with you. Any idea who that might be? No, I can't think of a single person who doesn't like me. This... This doesn't have to do with that Michael guy, does it? Michael? Michael who? The track guy? Michael Johnson? Oh, you think it was him? I don't know. You were the one who called me last night. Called you? Yeah, you called and said you had done something with Michael's girlfriend and you were afraid he was going to find out. Melissa? Oh shit, did I do that? I can't even think straight right now. Ugh. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. My head just started pounding. It looks like you might have a concussion. You should go to the health center. A concussion? Please, Lindsay, I feel fine. No, I need to go... Class? I think you can miss one day of class. Class? Who's talking about class? I'm not talking about class. I'm talking about finding the crooked fucker who did this to me. Nobody clobbers Todd Norton and gets away with it! Let's catch up sometime soon. Todd stepped out into the cold morning and tried to clear his head. Who could have done such a number on him? Why had they done it? And why hadn't the coward owned up to it? He tried to think of anyone he knew who might hold some sort of grudge against him. Whose lips across this campus turned to a scowl when they heard the name Todd Norton. <laughs>
behavior hunt, where are you? <laughs> Stay home. Todd knew he was never going to crack this case flying solo, so he went to the only person on campus he knew who could help him, Oscar Eisenberg. You look like shit. Thanks, bro. No, I mean, really, you do not look good at all. Are you okay? Do you need a, a band-aid or something? No, not really. What I need is your help. Okay, what's up? I'm looking for the guy that did this to me when I was walking home last night. I made a list of everyone who might have some sort of grudge against me. Anyway, can you help me, bro? I need another brain. Another brain? Yeah, man, I got Frankensteined. The good brain got dropped and it's all Abby normal up here now. I don't know, man, this is a lot. I've got stuff- Please, oh, Oscar, 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 please. Please, Oscar, Oscar, please, 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 Oscar. Okay, Todd, okay. I guess, uh, how about you give me the top three names? Okay. All right, the most likely suspects. All right, yeah. Number one, Michael Johnson. Douchebag, muscle monkey, grand cool ball, lambda alpha rope fraternity. Except for <clears throat> Mr. Todd Norton, who classically effed this one up, if you know what I'm saying. You failed a class about thinking. Yeah. Impressive. Todd Norton, you are on academic probation! <laughs> Number three, Juan Jeremy. You are the coolest and best person for getting me this marijuana, Todd. Don't mention it. It's definitely not oregano. It totally was oregano. Smoked it. <laughs> but I mean, it could be anyone, really. Hell, it could be Lindsay for all I know. A girl? Hey, man, don't be sexist. Well, this is as good a start as any, I guess. What we need to do is go down this list and see if any of these people confess. Kawabunga. I'll start shaking trees and see who falls out of them. It has been said, because it is true, that joining the right fraternity can make the career of a young man. Lambda Alpha Rho is the political factory that's greased the wheels of the state of Oregon for generations. Regardless of academic major or political party, having the Lambda pin on your jacket guarantees a job in the state house, senate, or capital. Somewhere amidst the four loco, beer pong, and spike drinks, a future is forged. But before you can be a state senator, you need to be a pledge. Hey, 
squid fuck. Yes, sir. You and Ice Giant are on guard while I'm gone. Got it. There's a retaliation coming. I can feel it. In the air. Maybe it was the wind. UPN? What? Are you with UPN? Do I look like a fucking mailman? Oh, Who oh, are you with? Sigma? Unhand me! If you're not with Sigma, then you're with UPN, and you assholes got one coming for you. I don't even know what that stands for. University of Pacific Northwest. Duh. Are you really not with them? Who are you with? Your mom. Who are you with? Oh, stop it, you muscle-minded! Like a fan. You're gonna give me shaking baby syndrome. What do you want with Michael? And what do you want with those tests? I want you to suck oh. it. 